you know, when I first, I first started feeling fluish. And, but like, you know, when you, when this flu just hits you like a truck, like joint pain, tired, fluish, coughing, like, and then it would go away for a couple of days and I would think I got it and then it would hit again. But I wasn't very conscious at that time. You know, I was such a driven, multitasking, you know, social butterfly, my kids, carpool lane, building a house. Like I was in this crazy stage of my life where I was just juggling a hundred things at once and just hard headed, pushing through whatever symptoms I had until one day it just knocked me out where I go like, oh my God, the light went off in my head and I have a problem. Yolanda Hadid is opening up about her battle with Lyme disease and how it nearly destroyed her. While promoting her new book, Believe Me, Yolanda re reflected on her difficult medical journey, telling people there was a lot of internal learning to do about myself because I'm such a fighter that I used to just keep getting up and doing my thing. I had to surrender to what was going on in that moment, which was I needed rest. The former Real Housewife went on to describe her confusion surrounding the condition, revealing that doctors initially diagnosed her with chronic fatigue syndrome. She tells people in the beginning stages, you just go, okay, you were taught to believe the doctors are always right. So whatever the doctor said, I just went, oh, I'm fine. So you keep pushing, 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 and then days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months, and months turned into years. Finally, after experiencing migraines so severe that she had to be kept in isolation, in addition to suffering bizarre dark circles around her eyes, Yolanda sought treatment in Belgium where she was officially diagnosed with Lyme disease. Watch. I remember going through the airport to Belgium. I mean, they had to push me in a wheelchair. That's how you know, debilitated I was. Um, so it was a long six weeks of waiting. And once you get an answer, like the light went on and go like, see? I told everybody I have an infection in my brain and they were looking at me like I'm crazy, but I knew that it was something in my brain because of the circles under my eyes. So once you hear a diagnosis that explains what's wrong with you, you have clarity. And then you're just like, okay, just tell me what to do to get rid of this. I'm ready to put on the boxing gloves and fight this out, you know? The 30 days of IV antibiotics actually made me more sick than when I started. But it was also because I wasn't educated about a heavy course of antibiotics does to the body. <clears throat> At that point, I didn't know about how to detox, do coffee enemas, take salt baths. Like, I didn't know any, I was just buckled down and IVs three times a day and just sweating it out on the bathroom floor, you know? So that made it a really tough time. That was actually the most scary part of that whole three months. It's like I thought, okay, I do the three months of antibiotics and I'll be back to work and running. But I was actually, like I said, I was more sick. So that's really when the journey started like, okay, now I gotta get, become my own advocate and start you know, really searching and researching, and I had friends coming to help me and finding doctors and trying to connect the dots.